Hey, how's it going everyone? So I'm making a kind of a random video, but should be kind of interesting as well. So yesterday while I was doing a print, um, I decided to go ahead and switch out the nozzle for a CHT clone. Um, one of those high flow rate nozzles. While I was doing that, I noticed that the um, nozzle wasn't going in all the way. Um, started tying it up, and big surprise, the aluminum heat block got stripped. Surprise, surprise, right? Um, so, you know, at that point, I thought it was game over. So, all right, I just went ahead went online, um, looked everywhere I could to find a new heat block for the Ender 3 V2 Neo. I could not find just the block itself. You have to buy out the whole kit, which includes the heat sink, the heat break, and the, and the heat block. It also comes with the nozzle and also the, the wiring, which I'm like, come on, that can't be right. But um, checked on Amazon, checked on AliExpress, and I couldn't find it. The only one that comes close to looking like like the V2 Neo's heat, heat block is the one for the CR6SC. However, that one uses a different type of thermistor, which does not fit the V2 Neo. Um, I decided to go ahead and order one any, anyways. And I also purchased the uh, thermostat that's compatible with it. So that's going to be a very nice upgrade later on. It's also a copper plated one. But for the meantime, I don't have a, a heat block, so I can't 3D print. So I ordered a generic Ender 3, just a regular one, because that one uses the same um, um, thermistor, which is like a little bulb that screws into the side. I don't know, I don't know if it's going to fit, but while I was... Um, Thinking about it, I remembered I have this kit of helicoil repair kits, uh, which I used for um, which are used for car repairs mainly. To um, you'll basically use a um, you'll basically add new steel threads on aluminium. So this block is aluminium, of course, and um, but you'll be using steel steel threads, which in theory should actually make it even stronger. Now, um, check the dimensions. I went ahead and checked if the nozzle fits one of the helicoils, and it does fit perfectly. And I decided to go ahead and just um, take my drill, drill the hole, tap in the new threads for the helicoil to be able to screw into. And um, um, in this case, you just kind of you, you kind of want to put the helicoil halfway in between. And then break the little clip. That's that's what it's what you use to screw in the helicoil. So you can screw in your heat break from one side and then your nozzle from the other side, which you'll see in this video. But um, it looks like it's a successful repair. I didn't think these were repairable. Uh, as far as I looked on YouTube, nobody. Re I haven't seen anyone repair them. They just swap it out because it's super cheap to swap it out. But in the case of the V2 Neo, you can't really find the hot end, the, the heat block itself. So um, if you have a helical repair kit, maybe uh, if you work in cars, you probably have one. Or if maybe you have, you know, your parents, you have a friend that works in a car, they probably have helical repair kits. Um, the size that I use, I'll leave it down in the description. But the tap that I used is an ST6 by 1 SS. Not sure what that is exactly, but. Um, I'll leave the, the link in the description where you can buy a kit. And um, you'll be able to see in the video how I install it, put everything back together, and I run a quick test print. And it actually works just as as stock. Like, it, I didn't see any difference in quality. Uh, everything works fine. Um, everything heats up just as normal. So I think this is actually not, you know, it, it definitely is a short-term repair, but it could actually be a long-term repair because of the steel threads um, you actually have you know um, you, you're gonna 
have um, a harder time stripping it. You're, you're going to be most likely stripping your nozzle than you do the, the, the heat block in this case. So this could actually be an upgrade, possibly. Don't quote me on that. But it's definitely something worth looking into. So um, I'll leave you some, some um, video of me just doing the whole installation. And I um, hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so the print just finished, and um, I think it looks very good. All right, so the only thing I need to test right now is if it's oozing or not. If it's not oozing from the heat block, that means it's good. Yeah, no oozing whatsoever. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to declare this fix successful. That's crazy. I was not expecting it to work, but in the case of the V2 Neo, I think it's very well worth trying to save it with some some heavy coils because the, the, the heat block itself is it's really hard to find. You can't really find it anywhere. At least I couldn't find it without having to buy the entire set. So um, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of random, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and you have a great day.